Chief Minister Konrad Sangma today informed that the cabinet today deliberated on the demands for salary enhancement made by ad hoc teachers. However, he added that since budget cuts from other departments will be needed to meet the demand, the matter requires detailed analysis. You see, the, pro the problem with um, the ad hoc teachers uh, uh, issue is that um, uh, we will be requiring, as I said, um, hundreds of crores uh, to make this happen. And uh, the reason it has to be put to cabinet is because uh, while we do that, uh, we'll have to cut the budget on some other department. And uh, the concerned ministers and departments will have to be aware about it and know that uh, the budgets are going on, be it, say, maybe a budget cut in road connectivity or budget cut in uh, maybe medicine or health areas or could be in uh, maybe some other uh, aspect. So these kind of detailed discussions need to take place on where the money will come in uh, in order to pay this, uh, so we have to cut somewhere else from the budget because provisions are made, uh, you know, and we need to ensure that those provisions that have been given to others are always maintained and balanced. So those kind of detailed discussions are required for which we require uh, a detailed discussion within the cabinet. If it's a matter of few crores, then uh, we can, uh, you know, we can decide and we can go ahead um, and it's not that complicated. But when it runs into hundreds of crores, uh, which is additional, I'm not saying the total, these are additional hundreds of crores, uh, then it is a tougher decision for the government and the cabinet, and therefore it requires a bit of detailed uh, analysis. Uh, today also this was discussed in the cabinet, but since the, discuss the decision hasn't been taken, so it's not proper for me to mention it in the, uh, in the briefing today to all of you that uh, uh, the discussion was had, but since you're asking me, that we did discuss the matter in the cabinet today also. Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma has stated that the non-maintenance of accounts in the District Council has been there for a long time and it has been a systematic problem. He said that regarding the allegations of non-maintenance of accounts and others, a detailed report has been sought from all the three District Councils and the government is waiting for a reply. Further, he said that it is the responsibility of the District Council to maintain proper records of the accounts. The maintenance of accounts uh, in the District Councils has been an issue that has been plaguing the Councils for a very long time. Uh, so it's not that this year this issue has suddenly come up. So this has been there for um, you know 20, 30 years now uh, that there are issues concerning the overall maintenance of accounts. So it's a it's a systematic problem that uh, the councils face, and efforts are being made every now and then to tell them uh, to improve those and uh, different come up with different rules, which they themselves are, are responsible and it's an autonomous body, uh, which they will do. In regards to the letters that were sent. Um, you know, as soon as the letters were sent to us, uh, the government, in fact, the DCA minister himself had conducted a meeting and, uh, of the DCA and uh, had instructed and written to the different uh, DCAs to uh, different uh, district councils to um, reply and give a detailed report on the matters that were raised. But uh, none of the replies have come yet from them. So we are awaiting the reply from their side. Uh, but yes, uh, this is a matter that, as I said, uh, has been a problem. Uh, for a very long time in the district councils and uh, uh, steps need to be taken to ensure that uh, uh, reforms are done and that uh, proper maintenance of accounts and books are been done at the level. But as I said, autonomous district councils are autonomous in nature and therefore uh, it's their responsibility to ensure that they take necessary steps. Deputy Speaker and Rezabel Para MLA Timothy D. Shira has said that his prospects in the upcoming assembly elections are bright and he has been able to bring in several schemes, major connectivity projects, health and sports infrastructure projects this term as a member of the ruling coalition. My case is concerned that prospect is bright. I was MLA for 10 years, hmm. sitting in the opposition. I did not get a single uh, scheme or project. But now sitting in the sit, uh, uh, sitting in the with the government in the treasury bench, uh, I could get a lot of schemes, uh, constructions of new road, constructions of mini stadium, constructions of major bridge, constructions of uh, see major road from Damra to uh, this uh, national uh, highway 51, 37 kilometers. And then many others also, and uh, we are already started. We have already started the construction of hundred bed hospital also, and many other uh, offices. 
So there is a change. Now people realize that I could do something for my people. Food, Civil Supplies and Consumer Affairs Minister James Sangma today launched a community seed bank project for the preservation and promotion of the 6,000-year-old rice species in Sadol Para, West Garo Hills. The project is being initiated in partnership with NESFAS and ELP Foundation to understand the scope for further research and development of the rice species so that large-scale cultivation could be made possible with the help of local communities, the minister informed, adding that Sadol Para species will greatly benefit the state and prove to be a potential boost for the local economy. Pulwari MLA Estamur Mominin has denied allegations that there are hundreds of illegal quarries and illegal mines operating in his constituency. With regards to the illegal quarries in my constituency, at the, at the very outset I would say here that there is no 500 illegal quarries under Pulwari. I accept, I agree, there are queries, stone queries, but I am very sure that there is no illegal mining. In some places, under my constituency, there are boulders which are on the surface, which are on the ground. So to get these boulders, we don't have the people they don't have to go for mining so i would say here that there is no illegal query or there is no illegal mining under fullbury constituency